artists they wanted to really like be known where they're from sometimes your hometown isn't gonna really uh gravitate to you until you come back when you made it and they're like I known that girl since she was 16 doing shows at the local speakeasy you know unfortunately that's sometimes how it is if it's popping in Alaska and we got to go to Alaska go to Alaska I think that we're gonna go ahead and and make it happen where your brand brand identity obviously if at for some reason is is you know mixing with the culture of 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 certain people in Alaska and let's figure out why I can give you an example of an artist that you know he was part of the Marines uh before and his one of his top top areas uh, if I'm not mistaken it was like Salt Lake he was like oh it's because there's a base in Salt Lake I'm like oh okay well let's go ahead and do certain things where we could do something with the Marines you know and like I don't know how many Latinos are in Utah but obviously there's Latinos listening to him in Utah and it must be from the base you know so it's just kind of understanding that you know what like I at least in Puerto Rico, there's a lot of artists from Puerto Rico that they want to sound heavy in Puerto Rico. But you know what? Like you're going off right now in maybe Colombia or Alaska. <laughs> like we got to go ahead and focus on those areas. And that's just what it is. And we'll def we'll get back to our homeland and we can definitely continue doing things that can happen in, you know, in, in the homeland and whatever. And that's cool. But it's just understanding that if your fans are, are in these random places that you would have never thought they would be in, Let's gravitate to those. Let's continue working to build that fan base.